Let's look at the things that people DIY that make you wonder why. I personally love to DIY things. I've been kind of out of the game for a bit, but maybe some of these can give me inspiration. Let's look at a subreddit called r slash DIY. So the first thing I found was this, a yard fence made out of doors. <laughs> okay, I have some feelings. Personally, I love this. I don't know why, I just really like the vibe this is giving off. It reminds me of like a video game or like a fantasy storybook. Um, if I had a backyard, I would do this to my backyard. <laughs> and if I had a bunch of doors. <laughs> um, don't know where they got all the doors. Frankly, that's none of my business. Um, 10 out of 10. Okay, next we've got the computer mouse belt buckle. Um, so this is obviously very strange, um, and weird, but it's also a little bit cool. Like, out of a room of a bunch of people with regular belt buckles. I'm talking to this guy. I mean, why not just complete the whole outfit? Maybe like a keyboard little top or something? I don't know. Just like a whole computer-themed fit? That'd be kind of fire, I think. 7 out of 10. Okay, so what's most annoying about this one, I think, is the picture. It's very clickbait with the girl, like, in the chair, arched back, hair under the coffee maker. Um, but I do think that you could dye your hair with coffee, especially if it was blonde like this. I don't see why that wouldn't work. However, you would not do it like this. It would obviously not work. You would have to, like, get a bowl or something. Um, but yeah... Um, terrible pictures, clickbait, annoying, uh, 2 out of 10. Okay, next we've got the Disco Ball Fireplace. Um, okay, Disco Ball Fireplace. I'm not gonna lie, I think this looks kind of cool. If you're in a situation where you're never gonna use your fireplace, like you're somewhere super hot, like Arizona or something, um, why not put a Disco Ball in your fireplace? I would give that an 8 out of 10, I think. Okay. Um, moss bath mat. So, <laughs> I think that I kind of like the concept of this. I guess the cons would be, like, you just got out of the shower, you're all fresh, you wouldn't want to step on, like, dirt, but maybe, I don't know. If it was, like, super clean with no dirt and no mud, I don't have any issue with this. I think it would be, like, kind of refreshing to step on moss right out of the shower. Um, if this works properly, 9 out of 10. Okay. Cheese grater earring holder. This is genius. I don't know who was hating on this. Um, I would definitely do this if I had more earrings. I would give that a 7 out of 10. Next, we've got this bath um, bath couch. So they've cut a bathtub in half and proceeded to put the ugliest cushion known to man on it. Um, personally, I think this looks absolutely hideous. I don't know who let this person do this. I mean, it wouldn't even be comfortable. You couldn't even, like, lean back. I had a bathtub like this in my old apartment. I liked it, but, like, I know what that surface feels like, and it would not be comfortable as a couch to lean back on the side of the bathtub like that. Um, you'd have to sit up super straight on this couch. It's also just super ugly. That's the main crime here. It's, it's ugly. I'm calling the police. One out of ten. Next, we have the car with, um, toys toy figures and pianos all over it. Um, this is interesting. I kind of like it. I kind of would want to be friends with the type of person that would have this. It reminds me of um, all the art exhibit cars that I saw in Nevada, um, but this one clearly is not an art exhibit. This is clearly being used because it's in a parking space. Um, yeah, kind of problematic. I think it might be a safety hazard. <laughs> Imagine you get in a crash and there's just severed doll heads flying left and right. Um, 5 out of 10. Okay, watch this video with me. Um, this person is putting these white sneakers in ground coffee, letting them sit for a day so that they look um, 
dirty, I guess. Replacing the Nike symbols with a black material. Okay. And then on the front, I thought they were going to do a black material too, but nope, it's bright reflective red. Um, <laughs> then they are expanding the shoelace holes so that they can put rope instead of shoelaces. And dyeing the inside purple. I don't know much about sneakers, okay? I'll admit that. But these are hideous. <laughs> Um, it's just too much going on, I think. I don't get the coffee thing. Why would you want it to look like your sneakers have been sitting somewhere moist for like five years and uh, turned yellow? Don't know. Don't really get that. Um, I kind of like the idea of the different colors, like putting black instead of the Nike symbols, dyeing the inside purple. Um, the shoelaces, rope. I don't get that. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. 4 out of 10. Okay. This one is a little bit of a longer video, but um, bear with me. It's worth it. This is like the most interesting one. <laughs> okay. So we've got this lady. She is wrapping plastic wrap around four trees. Um, so... <laughs> She's making some sort of platform. Um, we're going to talk about all the problems with this, but first impressions, it kind of looks like a giant spider web or something that a spittle bug would make. Um, kind of cool in a way, kind of terrifying. If I came across this in the woods by myself, best believe I would run. Um, it's kind of cool that it's bouncy. Um, I don't know. I thought it would stop there, but it actually keeps going. <laughs> um, she's basically building a whole fortress that requires a warehouse full of plastic wrap. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So my problem with this besides the fact that it's extremely wasteful. Um, it's gonna get really um, hot and humid in there. Plastic wrap is designed to keep things like sealed, obviously. So you're just like sealing yourself in a little thing. Um, it's not gonna be very nice in there. It's not very breathable. Um, but unless it's perfectly airtight, bugs are going to get in and hang out in there with you. And it looks like it takes forever to set up. Like, so long. They made it look simple in this video, but I'm sure this took, like, hours and hours. Um, <laughs> and none of that plastic wrap can be reused when they cut it down. You would obviously have to just throw that away. Um, so... If you want a temporary thing to hang out in, in the woods, uh, maybe invest in a hammock. They have closable hammocks, you know? Um, even like, I don't know, buy some tarp, something. You could build your own DIY thing with tarp, perhaps, and you won't be <laughs> using a ton of plastic that you can't reuse. Um, and if this is meant to be more permanent, like if this is their backyard or something, I don't know, just build a treehouse out of wood. That's my suggestion. Um, this is an absolute garbage idea, literally and figuratively. Um, <laughs> I think this is so stupid that it's probably designed to be clickbait. It's meant to grab your attention. Um, I don't know why, but... There's no way that this they really thought that this was like a useful, good, fun hack. So, um, 0 out of 10 on that one. Okay, this next one is so funny. Okay, so they're painting their light. Um, looks pretty good. And then they turn it on. <laughs> it looks so shit. <laughs> 
This is so relatable. Um, I feel like this would happen to me. I feel like I would make something that I thought looked good and then it turns out there's some like terrible flaw with it and it's complete garbage. It happens. 2 out of 10 for effort. Okay, so that's it for the subreddit, but I did find an article on a website called Bored Panda, I think, and they had a ton of these, so let's just look through these. Um, T-Rex heels. These are sick. These are so cool. Um, are they practical? Maybe not, but heels aren't that easy to walk in anyways, so I don't know. Why not? I kind of want these 8 out of 10. Okay, next we've got these plushies squished in little jars. Um, I hate this. The pink one looks kind of cute. <laughs> but overall, I just like hate the vibe of this. Just put the plushies on the shelf. I don't like thing. I don't know what the word is when you put something in a jar uh, with like liquid or whatever like this, but I hate that look anyways. Like even if it was something normal, like a plant, I don't know. I don't know what people put in these jars. Um, I just like kind of hate, I hate it. It just like looks gross to me. Whatever. Zero out of ten. Uh, baby Skull Desert Roses. For some reason I love this. I just think it's super unique and cool. I would, uh, I would put this in my backyard if I had one. I would give this a nine out of ten. Okay, I love this one. This person put a dead bug in their acrylic nail. And they sealed it in there. Um, so obviously it's a little, it's a little bit gross. I'll admit it. It's kind of cool. I think it looks super interesting. <laughs> um, and I also think that this is just some viral marketing tactic because they did put their at right in this picture, knowing that it would probably get a lot of attention, and it worked on me. I went straight to their Instagram, um, which surprisingly is mostly normal nails, as you can see here. I mean, normal as in, like, not super disgusting, but they're all really unique and cool. Um, but I found a few gems on their page. Uh, we've got weed nails. <laughs> I feel like this person just, like, finds whatever random thing is laying around and just gets bored and puts it in their nails. Um, and we've got mouse jawbone nails. That is fucking interesting. I don't know why. I kind of love this one. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. I just, maybe I'm a garbage person, but I kind of like these weird ass nails made out of animal parts. Would I wear them? No, but that's because I hate acrylic nails. They get in the way of everything. I don't wear them. Um, but would I compliment someone if they had these? Yes. Um, nail situation is 10 out of 10 for me. Next, we've got this upcycled toothpaste tube <laughs> into a purse. Why do I feel like I would see this on Depop? hashtag upcycled hashtag y2k it's not the best thing i've ever seen but it's not the worst thing i've ever seen it's i mean it's kind of whatever five out of ten okay this one i hate i hate it um <laughs> that is so ugly it's like a quarter of a person it's so creepy weird hate the vibe of it um would not like if i got up in the middle of the night for a snack and saw that I just would think it's like someone's legs. I just don't like it. Um, one out of ten. Next, we've got the bra planter. I don't know why, but I like it. <laughs> I can't really explain. Um, I just think it's kind of dope. Um, eight out of ten would put in metaphorical backyard. We've got the Sprite glasses, um, so I can see these or something similar being um, like super expensive, nice glasses, or you could just cut open a Sprite and make these for much, much cheaper and still look swag. 10 out of 10. Um, someone made a candle holder out of forks. So these are kind of cute forks too kind of a waste of these cute 
forks and also it just sucks like what is this who would do this I don't like it um two out of ten okay custom lamp <laughs> So I see where they were going with this, and I feel like this could have been good if they did it right. They just have to line up the sticks way better and make sure the glue isn't showing, and it could have been cool, I guess. I mean, a little tacky, maybe, um, but it, would, it could have worked, you know what I mean? 4 out of 10. I don't know. The Weight Watchers Soda Crocheted Hat. Um, I like the idea of this. I swear I've seen this on Depop. I might be mistaken, but, like, this looks familiar to me. Um, I kind of like the idea of it. I wouldn't wear it because of the Weight Watchers soda thing, but if it was, like, I don't know, Mountain Dew or, like, something cooler, I think I would honestly wear it. 6 out of 10. Severed Barbie face pins. Okay, some people might think this is weird and disturbing, I like these. I kind of want one. <laughs> you can see even the top comment here said how many sociopaths are on this list. I think that these are cool <laughs> and I kind of want one. What does that say about me? I don't know. 9 out of 10. Okay, we've got the DIY Concrete Smiling Stone. That is so creepy but so cool at the same time. I don't know how to describe it. Um, I like the vibe of it. It's just like so weird. And yet, I kind of want one. <laughs> 8 out of 10. Okay, this one I specifically included because of the comment that this person left. So this is a mood ring toilet seat, which by itself is absolutely ridiculous. Who thought this was a good idea? Um, this person says, Imagine if you lived on your own and you came home to find evidence of a butt on your toilet and the butt was angry. <laughs> Shout out Emily for writing this. This made me laugh, um, a lot. Okay, next is my uncle's Christmas tree. I mean, if this is really your uncle's Christmas tree... I mean, I think that this is better than no Christmas tree, personally. Um, the Believe thing is a little cheesy and kind of makes me think that this isn't a Christmas tree. But if it is for Christmas, I, I like it. Better than nothing. Kind of a cute effort to put. 8 out of 10. What in the trailer trash hell am I looking at and why the fuck is it plugged in? I would like to know that as well. Why is it plugged in? Um, what is this? Someone needs to explain this to me. If anyone knows anything about this, I really want to know why the fuck they have a microwave as a mailbox. Um, is it, does it work? Do they microwave their mail? So it's nice and toasty. 4 out of 10. Excuse me, I need to ride my piece of wood to school. You guys are all tripping. This is so, so cool. This is amazing. I want this so bad. Um, <laughs> level 10 swag. I would give this like thousands out of 10. It looks like it works. It looks fun. It's so simple. Hell yeah. Okay, I think that's it. That was a lot. Um, I hope you liked watching this video, kind of a random topic, but um, I was inspired by like all the random stuff I come across on Depop that's like funny and weird and DIY'd, and um, yeah, let me know what you thought of the video, let me know if you liked those things, if you agreed with me or disagreed with me, I would honestly be curious to know, um, yeah, and I'll see you guys next time, peace.